I have Microsoft PowerPoint software opened on my Windows interface and I have previously posted a video on how to create a spinning wheel in Microsoft PowerPoint using numbers. In this particular video, I am going to show you how to use names to create your spinning wheel which is going to serve as a random picker and that can be used or can be applied in classrooms or seminars to select individuals to perform a tax at a given time. So without any further ado, let's jump right in and see how to create a spinning wheel with names in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now I have this slide, I'm going to change the layout. So I'm going to choose blank from this option. Now I have this as blank. Now we can move to the insert tab and then choose charts and in the dialog box we are going to select pi then we click on ok now we have our pie chart inserted into microsoft powerpoint and when you look at this excel window which relates to this pie chart when we expand we have four rows in each column and that has created four segments for the pie chart i want to increase the segments to 10 and also even therefore i'll move to the sales column and then I'm going to type 1 in the first cell. And I'm going to use this fill handle and drag it to 11 so that I can have 10 segments. I'm going to deduct the first rule. Therefore, I'm going to have 10 segments for this pie chart. Now, in column C, we are going to create another column that is going to contain the names that we want to have on this pie chart that is going to serve as the spinning wheel so i'm going to type names and also have some names under that column so give it some time so that i can input all the names that we need for creating this particular spinning wheel Now I am done with typing all the names under column C. Now let's close this pin. And when we move back to our PowerPoint interface, we have this pie chart. We are going to delete all the labels available. So I'm going to select the sales label and hit the delete key on the keyboard. Then I'm also going to select this label and delete. Now the next thing that we are going to do is to have the names on top of this pie chart. So I'm going to click on this plus sign and then choose data labels. That is the arrow beside data labels. And we have these options and let's select more options. We are going to have this format data labels at the right pane and currently value is selected. That is, is going to choose the values under the sales column. We are going to deactivate this then we select value from cells this gives us the option to select the names we have in this excel window so i'm going to expand this and then select all these names then click on ok close this window and when we come back to our powerpoint interface we can see that we have these names on top of this pie chart and all these names are selected so do not have any touch on this pie chart just move straight to the home tab and we are going to change the font type the font color and also the font size so in the font group i'm going to change this choose any font that suits your preference so i'm going to select then change the font size to 24 and i'm going to change the font color to white and also bold this in the font group now you can see that we have all these names on this pie chart now that we have this set let's close this pane and now let's select this pie chart so make sure that you have this shadow rectangular shape around this pie chart don't select this pie chart rather select this rectangular shadow around this pie chart 
and hold control plus x on the keyboard now this cut this pie chart into the clipboard of microsoft powerpoint right click and choose paste option and we're going to select the second one which is picture and now we have this as a picture which we can't edit any name on this pie chart now that this is done let's move to the picture format on the menu bar and we have this crop option choose crop to shape and we are going to select the overall shape and let's move back to the crop option once again and choose aspect ratio that is one is to one now we are going to drag this crop fill handles closer to this pie chart by holding the control key and the shift key then we use our left mouse button to drag so that we can have a perfect circle applied to this pie chart now we can click outside the slide area let's move this to this side now the next thing i'm going to do is to draw the arrow that is going to select these names so let's move to the insert tab and then choose ships and i'm going to select this associates triangle and let's draw this triangle change the fill color to black and also change the outline to no outline now let's move to the shape format and in the rotate option click and choose rotate right 90 degrees and then let's move this to the left side and then let's put this pie chart closer to this arrow so that this arrow is going to indicate the name that is going to be selected when this pie chart starts to spin now that this is done we are going to draw a play and also a pause button that will allow us to stop the spinning wheel and also to play the spinning wheel therefore i'm going to draw a circular shape and also input this play and pause button so let's move back to the insert tab shapes and choose the overall shape hold the control key and the shift key and draw a perfect circle place this in the middle of this pie chart change the shape outline to new and change the shape fill to black and now let's double click on this shape and we have the Kesa blinking in this particular shape move to the insert tab and we have this symbols group select symbol now we have this symbol dialog box and you move to the font field and let's change the font to windings 3 so when i click on this you can scroll down and look for windings 3 you can easily identify this font by typing it on your keyboard and now we have this options and we are going to choose windings 3 and when you get access to this font we can get access to the play button so when you click on this you choose insert now we want the next symbol which is the post symbol you have to change the font to you gothic so when i click on this i'll just type y on the keyboard and this is going to display the you gothic so when you click on this then you scroll down to find the post symbol and now you can see that i have this post symbol here click on it and choose insert now let's close this window and when we come back to our powerpoint interface we have this symbol inserted into our circular object now let's hold ctrl plus a on the keyboard this selects these symbols and we can go back to the home tab and increase the size of these symbols so that we can have a better view of it now that this is done we are going to select this move to the home tab and then in the editing group we are going to select this select option and we have the option to select selection pin and this pin is going to display all objects or shapes that we have drawn within our powerpoint interface and this over shape is selected and it has the name as over it we are going to change the name to a different name so i'm going to double click then i'm going to select these names and type play and pause and you can press the enter key on the keyboard so this is the name given to this overall shape 
because we are going to apply some animations to the pie chart and we are going to use this as a trigger to help this spin and also to help this stop spinning now that we have this set we can close this pin and now let's select this pie chart the first animation we are going to apply to this is the spin animation so we move to the menu bar and click on animations and then let's choose spin by clicking on this arrow and we have the spin animation here let's click on it now let's open the animation pin and then click on this arrow move to effect options and in this dialog box we are going to select timing We are going to change the duration to 0 0.5 which is very fast then under the repeat field we select this and choose on to next click and we are going to activate a trigger for this spinning wheel so we select this triggers and then choose start effect on click on this drop down arrow and you can see that we have the play and pause in this particular options click on it and choose okay now when we get to the slideshow mode and we use our mouse to click on this object this is going to cause this pie chart to spin now let's apply the next animation to this pie chart so we select this pie chart once again and this time around don't select any animation in this animation group rather move to the advanced animation and select add animation and we are going to select appear and now let's click on a drop down arrow move to effect options and under timing we are going to activate the triggers then we choose start effect on and in the drop down arrow we are going to select play and the pause option then you click on ok now we have these two animations applied to this pie chart and these animations are going to be controlled by this play and pause button now let's move to the slideshow and see how this is going to work so you move to the slideshow on the menu bar and choose from beginning now when i click on this this is going to spin this particular pie chart and you can see that the names are shuffling and when i click on this this is going to pause this from spinning and a student or an individual is selected and if you have any tax we can give to this particular individual when i click on this we have another name selected and any tax that is on board for this particular person can be applied to him